My name is Emily Jin, and I'm a fourth year Victoria College student studying philosophy and ethics, society, and law at the University of Toronto. 20 years ago, my family moved from Korea to the Treaty 7 region of southern Alberta, the traditional territories of the Blackfoot Confederacy, the Sutina, the Stony Nakoda Nations, and the Metis Nation. Three years ago, I moved to the land we are on today. We are grateful that the University of Toronto community has been able to gather together on these grounds for two centuries to learn, explore, and grow. We wish to acknowledge this land on which the University of Toronto operates. For thousands of years, it has been the traditional land of the Huron-Wendat, the Seneca, and the Mississaugas of the Credit. Today, this meeting place is still home to many Indigenous people from across Turtle Island, and we are grateful to have the opportunity to live and work on this land. I would ask you to reflect on the land you are on and your relationship to it, wherever you are today, as you watch this special announcement. The birthplace of life-saving discoveries. The world's first woman aeronautical engineer the first to use the poppy as a symbol of remembrance, Canada's first Nobel Peace Prize laureate, first Indigenous forensic pathologist, and first gay and lesbian student organization, the first Canadian-born Black doctor, and first Asian Canadian to earn a medical degree in Canada, home to the pioneers of the electronic age and the age of AI. Taking risks and breaking new ground has defined us from the very beginning. From our starting place, to our expansion east to Scarborough and west to Mississauga. To the diverse powerhouse of cutting edge research, teaching, and innovation we are today. The U of T community has continuously asked, why not? And what if? Looking to the future, we will carry on this grand tradition. We will bring together top minds, inspire new generations to pursue their passions, and celebrate the brilliance and impact of our graduates around the world. In this time of recovery, rebuilding, and reconciliation, we'll continue to take on what might seem impossible today. And together, we will build a more equitable, sustainable, and prosperous tomorrow. For almost 200 years, the University of Toronto has been home to extraordinary people who dare to ask big questions and push the boundaries of what's possible. From epic discoveries to revolutionary innovations, we've made an indelible mark on the world, and we're distinguished among our global peers by our vision of what excellence is all about. At U of T, excellence means game-changing research that alters our understanding of the world and our place in it. It's about preparing the next generation of Canadian and global leaders in every field of human endeavor. And it's about openness, knowing that great ideas are the product of diverse perspectives and that talent can come from any postal code. So for us, excellence means inclusive excellence. The University of Toronto is a world leader because we welcome the best and the brightest from all backgrounds. We've played a major role in addressing the historic challenges of recent years, including Canada's pandemic response and recovery efforts. And we have enormous potential to make an even greater contribution in the years to come. Today, we're launching a visionary new campaign for the University of Toronto. In a few moments, you'll hear directly from some of our faculty, staff, students, alumni, donors, and volunteers. They'll share our plans for the campaign and our hopes and dreams for U of T in the 21st century. Before I hand it over to them, I'd like to tell you why we're launching the campaign now at this particular time in history. In the past few years, society has become increasingly divided. The climate crisis has grown ever more urgent. Economic and social inequalities are widening. We face a reckoning with systemic racism and injustices against indigenous peoples. And the greatest pandemic in a century is not yet behind us. All these forces are pulling us down, when on so many fronts, we need to rise and move forward together. In the face of all this, 
The mission of the University of Toronto is more crucial than ever. Because of our distinctive strengths and values, and with the support of our global community, the University of Toronto has the potential, quite simply, to defy gravity. With your help, through the campaign we're launching today, we can make U of T an even more powerful engine of progress and opportunity. We'll help lift the world to new heights of justice, creativity and hope for generations to come. I'm excited to share with you that we are setting two ambitious goals for the new campaign. There is our fundraising goal, which you will hear about shortly, but for the first time in our history, we are setting an additional goal focused on alumni engagement. The University of Toronto is immensely proud of its global alumni community. Some 640,000 people in every corner of the world. They come from all walks of life and they stand out for their volunteerism and leadership. They are a crucial factor in U of T's success as one of the greatest universities in the world. And so I am delighted to announce a bold new goal for alumni engagement. Over the course of this new campaign, we will engage 225,000 alumni as volunteers, mentors, donors, and leaders in a wide range of capacities. And we will encourage them to contribute their time and talent to U of T one million times. As a result, together, we will make a powerful and lasting impact for the better in the lives of our students, staff, faculty, as well as our entire alumni community. And now to tell you more about this exciting new campaign target, I'm pleased to introduce one of U of T's leading citizens, Sana Hawani, president of the University of Toronto Alumni Association. As president of the UTAA, I'm continually amazed and inspired by how dedicated our alumni are to making a positive difference here at U of T and beyond. It's a spirit of giving back that's truly infectious. I can see in them my own alumni journey, which began with a desire to support and champion current students as a mentor and then an instructor at the Faculty of Law. From there, my engagement as an alumni volunteer has expanded in deeply rewarding ways that I would never have imagined 17 years ago. There are so many alumni stories like mine that speak to how, even after graduation, U of T provides us with countless opportunities to make a positive difference, no matter where we are in our lives or where we live in the world. That's why I'm excited now for you to hear from some of my fellow alumni on why giving back to U of T is such an important part of their lives, and from members of the U of T community about the difference alumni involvement has made to them. I'm here in the beautiful Théâtre de la Monnaie in Brussels, Belgium, where I'm singing the title role in the opera Lulu by Alban Berg. U of T gave me the skills, the discipline, and the technique to be able to have not only a satisfying, but a successful career. Thank you, U of T. The University of Toronto provides a world-class education and student experience. Those of us who've lived that experience are part of an international and diverse community that is always eager to connect with and support one another. After I graduate, I also plan on returning to the school um, to help teach um, in hopes of supporting future students um, because I know how much of an impact it can have on them. To me, being an alumni leader means transitioning from an active learner in the community as a student to an active steward of its members. Through meeting students who are preparing to go to Toronto and the newly grads at the convocation, I can see how important the U of T experience is in that transformation. I couldn't be where I am today without the U of T and the City of Toronto wouldn't be as vibrant and wonderful as it is without the hard work of many volunteers and staff and students that make this a vibrant place to learn. University of Toronto changed my life 
taught me how to think. It taught me how to research. I learned how to interact with people in the world of ideas. And these are all things I've used every single day of the last 40 years. I love the University of Toronto. I owe everything to it. The University of Toronto is where I found home. It's where my students are, and it's where my research belongs. As alumni, supporters, and volunteers, we are delighted to be co-chairs of U of T's new fundraising campaign. Joining together with volunteers from all three campuses who believe in the potential of philanthropy and our community to make a positive difference in the world. Over the course of U of T's history, we've seen that potential realized time and time again. More than a century ago, alumni came together to rebuild the University College Library following the devastating fire of 1890. For generations, our generous donors have also enabled students of all backgrounds to experience the life-changing education and opportunities they did. Today, our alumni and friends continue to support scholarships and bursaries that help ensure all promising and talented students can receive a world-class education. Awards like Excellence is Black, created just this past April, to celebrate black excellence and support postgraduate students across U of T. And in addition to campus revitalization and student support, our donors lead the way in supporting cutting edge research across a wide breadth of fields. From Tamil culture to the ethics of AI, to improving the lives of people with diabetes, to sustainable agriculture and food security. Now, as we grapple with growing threats to health, climate and social equity, the world is once again looking to U of T to make new discoveries, advance knowledge, and improve lives through our spirit of generosity, excellence, leadership, diversity, and compassion. And so, because of the grand challenges we face, because of the enormous potential of our global community of alumni and donors to champion a better future. And because of the 95,000 students and the 23,000 faculty and staff from every conceivable background who are striving to build a better, more inclusive world. The University of Toronto is once again setting its sights high with an historic campaign goal of $4 billion. And while this goal is certainly bold, we believe it is commensurate with the university's excellence, leadership, and global impact in every field. It reflects the enormous depth and breadth of academic aspirations across our faculties, schools, colleges, and campuses. And the size and scale of the university's community, including more than 640,000 alumni, whose leadership is felt in nearly every walk of life and every corner of the world and it sets a new standard for giving in Canada, encouraging historic support for U of T and raising sites for philanthropy across the country. Our progress towards this goal has already begun. And thanks to the continued generosity of so many of you across the globe, we are already one quarter of the way there. Yes, our aims are ambitious, but we know from history that when the University of Toronto and its supporters rally together, we can be a beacon of optimism for the world. That's why each of us became involved as donors and volunteers. We believe U of T can help unleash the talent of incredible young people preparing for their futures. People like Kalena Amadi, who we'll hear from now. When I was deciding where to pursue my graduate studies, I looked at many top schools, but U of T stood out not only because it has one of the world's best engineering programs, but also because the university and the city are so diverse and inclusive. I moved to Toronto in January of 2020 in the middle of winter and amidst challenging global circumstances. But to my delight, my adjustment to a new environment has been quite seamless. From the beginning, I felt extremely welcome in Canada and at U of T. In just a few months from now, I'll be finishing my master's program and moving on to the next chapter of my life. My goal is to use my U of T education to develop a career in the energy industry with a focus on sustainability. I am from Nigeria, so I understand the complex role that energy plays in countries around the world. 
But I believe that done ethically and equitably, energy can help to develop nations and lift people out of poverty. This is how I want to create positive change in the world. It is now my great pleasure to introduce some of my fellow students and some of our faculty, staff, and donors who will also share their stories about U of T. As an international student, it was my only hope that I'd be able to come here and seek new opportunities to broaden my horizons as a performer and as a leader. And you have given me more than I could ever ask for. During the past year, I've had the pleasure of working with some of our amazing instructors in clinic. They help bridge the gap between didactic and clinical application. They also paved the way for me to be the best at this I can be. The most amazing thing about the University of Toronto community is just how big and diverse it is, with something literally for everyone. I stay connected with the university because I believe it's both a privilege and a responsibility to help pay it forward the way others did for me. My goal has been and continues to be ensuring that Indigenous students feel welcome on campus, connected to culture, and that they continue to lead and mentor our future generations. My grounding in politics came from Professor Paul Fox at the University of Toronto uh, back in the day. And so uh, I wish everybody very good luck with all of the endeavors at the University of Toronto. UTM lays the groundwork for tomorrow's leaders. And when you succeed, Mississauga succeeds. I'm grateful to our alumni volunteers and appreciative of what they share with our students, faculty, and staff to ensure that we live our value of inclusive excellence every day and to help connect the larger community to UTSC. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I can't believe that this is really my job, um, taking care of and helping to support the success of this amazing community. And from what we contribute locally, having a truly global impact at this world-class institution. U of T is a place that empowers people to think big and do incredible things. Though the problems in front of us can be daunting, our community has a long track record of breaking from convention and striving together to find solutions where others couldn't. We share a relentless desire to set new standards of excellence in every field and empower students to create positive change throughout their lives. U of T has long seen the impossible not as a barrier, but as an invitation to explore new frontiers and reach new heights. And that's why the theme for our new campaign is Defy Gravity. Defy Gravity reflects our boldness, our ingenuity and resolve, our willingness to pursue knowledge, ideas and ventures that are visionary and transformational. Defy Gravity captures our students' aspirations for social change and the watershed moments of personal transformation they experience throughout their university education. It underlines our commitment to removing barriers to inclusion and social equity wherever they appear so that our entire community can thrive in an environment of belonging. It expresses the countless ways our alumni defy limits, excel in their fields and roll up their sleeves to strengthen communities worldwide and it speaks to the bold leadership of our staff, faculty, deans, and principals. And it conveys the awe-inspiring power of philanthropy across our three campuses. So I invite you, our alumni, our donors, our entire U of T community, to join us today in embarking on this historic campaign, because it is your optimism and your belief in this great university that enables us to defy gravity and create hope for the future. Thank you. And I look forward to seeing what we will accomplish together in the days, months, and years ahead.